Hi, this is Jennifer Jones Smith from Be the True You, and I'm going to tell you how a light bulb works today. Well, the law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It simply changes from one form to another. Well, a bulb is a simple apparatus that converts electric energy into light energy. The bulb is made up of a positive and negative terminal that are embedded inside this glass casing with a tungsten filament that joins the two terminals. When electricity is supplied to the terminals, either from a, the current from a an wall outlet or such as in this flashlight from a battery, then the flow of the electrons heats up the thin filament in between to the point that it begins to glow. And this process happens very quickly. And the air inside that glass is actually some inert gas that helps prevent the filament from becoming too hot and breaking. Well, when it comes to people, have you noticed that some glow more brilliantly than others? This reminds me of a story. There was a man who invited a merchant into his home to learn about some wonderful lamps this merchant had. And the man lit his own lamp, to which the merchant replied, I've never seen such a well cared for and well trimmed lamp as yours. And then the merchant took a match to his own lamp where a brilliant blaze caused the first lamp to look weak and pale. Well, the merchant who was selling the better lamp, he didn't put down the man's lamp. He simply showed him a better way to live, labor, and study by the light of his superior lamp. So we can also remember that sometimes we can benefit from the superior light of others. And sometimes our light and my knowledge may benefit someone else. Either way, we never need to criticize the intensity or the lack of intensity of other people's lives. We're all on our own journey and our own level of light and knowledge. So today I would encourage you to take a moment and think about whether you are honoring the light that glows from others on a daily basis.